Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about top 5 upgrades for iPhone IS U20. On this table, I have some of the upgrades that I want to share with you. And these are my top 5 picks and feel free to apply them or not. And let's go over them one by one. Upgrade number 1, which is the firmware. Don't forget to upgrade the firmware and check the Facebook group of iPhone IS U20 regularly so that you can see the upgrades that are pinned at the very top of the Facebook group. At this screen on the top left or right corner, I'm not sure which one it is, there's going to be a link appearing for you to directly move on to the video which will show you how to upgrade the firmware. Upgrade number two, spacers. Talking about the spacers, this is what I mean. So when we are talking about spacers, you might already realize why we need them because when you home the z-axis entirely and when you release the springs all the way up we still need a little bit more of this height towards the nozzle so that we can level it properly that is why i 3d printed these two types of spacers that you can choose off on the right hand side you have five millimeter spacers on the left hand side you have three millimeter spacers and you can download them from thingiverse link in the description of this video down below for me, to be able to get more space while I'm homing the Z-axis, I'm going to use the 5mm spacers. How to attach them is very simple. You just, you just unscrew the knobs that we have, all of them. Basically, you will lift the bed and put the spacers underneath. It's going to be very simple. As you can see, I put four of these 5mm spacers underneath my bed. And this one completes the upgrade number two. Upgrade number three, bigger knobs. So in upgrade number three, what we are going to do is increase the diameter of these knobs. So that it's going to be much more easy for us to level this bed. So what we are going to do is take these expanded knobs and insert our knobs accordingly. And as you can see, it's very simple. I designed these just for Alpha Wise U20. So you can download these in the Thingiverse link in the description down below. So what we are going to do is to take our knob and insert it very easily. So it is, it is very proper inside so that you don't need to hammer them down. Put it in and snap it. And do that for all four knobs and put them back in. Okay, our Alpha Wise U20 started to look very badass right now. And uh, don't forget to re-level your Z-axis before you start printing because you elevated your heated bed 5 millimeters up. So it is really important to make your Z-axis re-leveling properly. So basically don't forget to fasten these knobs and lower the heated bed to the lowest possible position so that you can re-level it. Upgrade number 4, better spool holder. This upgrade is all about filament holder. I know this looks very cool but it's a little bit hard to pull the filament out of this one because this is very small compared to the diameter of our filament spool itself. So basically for you guys I designed a spool holder where you can 3D print it and the files will be in the Thingiverse link in the description below. Basically where you can easily put your filament in and clamp this on top of your Alpha Wise U20 and fasten the knob to hold your spool on the right place. So let's attach this one to our Ultra Base U20. So basically I designed this in a way that where it's going to attach properly without requiring any external screws or fasteners. So basically what I'm going to do is to put it in like this, this and then press it down. And it clamps. So make sure that you press these sections to complete attachment. And that's it. It's already attached. If you want to be more safe, I left a small hole in here where you can zip tie this one to your bar if you want extra security. Right now what I'm going to do is to put my filament in there like this and then fasten the knob. Upgrade number five, Ultra Base. In this upgrade I'm going to talk about Ultra Base from any cubic company because I made a video a couple months ago about which heated bed is the best and you can Click the link that is going to appear on the right top corner of this video to see the results of that comparison. According to those results, basically I love the Ultra Base compared to the BuildTech. While using this very cool blue surfaced BuildTech style heated bed of Alphawise, I suffered from some uh, adhesion problems which 
which are basically caused by too much adhesion. So as you can see, these are the markings of me trying to remove the object from the heated bed after it cooled down. It was very, very hard for me to remove my object from this heated bed. So the good thing about this heated bed is if the electricity is gone, your object will be still in touch with your heated bed, even if it's cooled. But if you are using ultra base, which is the only disadvantage of ultra base for me is when the electricity is gone when your heated bed is cooled down your object will detach immediately and you won't be able to continue your print if you're so if you're a person who is losing electricity too much in your area you might want to stick with your alpha wise built textile blue surfaced heated bed otherwise i strongly suggest you to move to the ultra base because it, it is much much better and it is very less of a pain to use it so basically i'm going to swap my heated bed with the ultra base just basically detach these clippers on each corner and remove this one because this built textile thing is attached on top of a glass surface and put your ultra base on top of your bed and reclamp it back so your ultra base upgrade is done you are ready to use it don't forget to uh, again level your z-axis properly so that your adhesion works perfectly. This upgrade of ultra base is your choice. You might want to do that and you don't want to do that. Please watch my video of the comparison of the heated beds and make your decision accordingly. This will definitely help you to not suffer anymore with the uh, undetaching objects from the bed of the Alpha YZ20 because I was having that problem. After this top 5 upgrades, this is how our ultra base is going to look like. As you can see, it is still awesome. I like the blue color of the bed more, but black is more serious, guys. And as you can see, this is the entire alphabet U20 with all the upgrades that I put in. And I have two more side notes if you guys are interested. One is changing the bottom tube of this alphabet U20. And the second one is changing the extruder assembly right over here with a 3D printed version. The first side note that I would like to talk to you guys is this Bovden tube. So, I change, as you can see, I changed this Bovden tube from white one to this premium blue one. Again, I'm going to put the link of this uh, in the. I, again, I'm going to put the link of this to the description below. As you can see, this has changed. Why I did that is basically after a while, my Alpha YZ20 started to clog its nozzle, and it didn't go away. And I realized that my Bovden tube was gone bad, and I basically changed it. And I do suggest to use a premium Bovden tube rather than a normal Bovden tube because this thing is more resistive to heat and it doesn't expand inside the extruder itself so i prepared this new video of how to unclog your extruder basically by clicking the link that is about to appear right now you can go to that video and solve your clogging issue with your extruder if you're experiencing that so your video is probably right on the screen and if you are experiencing that problem go check that video out and solve your problems hopefully Second side note is again about the extruder itself. I tried to design this new extruder style where it's going to cool it down from the both sides and it's going to make your extruder 3D printed. I just didn't complete it because it's already good as is. The only problem which pushed me into designing this new thing is basically this metal system. So it is very easy to bend, as you can see. It's very easy to bend. That's why I would like to have much more strong extruder holder in that region. But this one is doing the job very properly too, so you don't need to change it at all. But I believe you will be able to find different designs very soon appearing on the Thingiverse. If you know any of them, please put them in the comments down below so everybody else can see that and this was my design I'm not sure will I do that or not so if the request is too high I will design this and put it on Thingiverse otherwise I will just keep my extruder as is because it is doing the job properly okay guys this is the end of my top 5 alpha wise YouTube upgrades video I hope you like it if so click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want others to know about this video don't forget to share it and also please put your comments down below what other upgrades can be done for this 3D printer and what you think about these 5 upgrades and what do you think there should be more as an upgrade to this 3D printer. 
We can talk about it in the comments down below. Also, in the description down below, you will see all the links that you need to basically make these top 5 upgrades with your 3D printer. And this is the end of my video. I hope you like it. And see you guys in the next one.